Hi, Ken from Mate Tech here. In this episode of the CNC build, we're working on the electronics electrical enclosure build. I'll just try and get this in one take and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. So when I was trying to work out how to make a template for these uh, power supplies, I thought I could get a piece of paper, lay them on there, and then uh, like scratch out where the holes are so it shows through on the paper. Uh, yeah, so when I got a bit of paper from the photocopier I realized I could just sit the house supplies on the photocopier and then just generate a, a template straight up like that so uh, yeah that's what I did and it worked really well and um, yeah it's a really good life hack I mean I'm sure someone else has probably done it but uh, yeah it's the first time I've tried anything like that and uh, yeah it's saved me a lot of time it was really good So with the template in place I'm just marking out the holes for the power supplies and then marking out the holes for all the other components. Before I mounted all the components on the panel, I took everything off and deburred everything and made sure there was no swarf in there so it was all nice and clean and ready for final assembly. I've mounted the PCBs to the backing plate with M3 bolts. They're just attached on the back with nuts, it's not threaded. And I've got these little 3D printed ABS parts I've designed in Fusion 360. It's, uh, two concentric cylinders and then I've used fillets to sort of make it like a conical tapered standoff. And they worked quite well. So I put that in the slicer, copy and pasted that 20 times and then just used the auto arrange feature and printed it out. It's a good idea to have spares and room for additional functionality in future so with that in mind I've left room for a second 8 channel relay board and an Arduino Mega or similar sized uh, microcontroller 
and I've already got two breakout boards there, one of which will be used straight away and the second one is a spare and then so in future if I need additional functionality and I haven't used them as spares then I've got a second 8 channel relay board and breakout board which may be used for something like a robot or uh, some sort of automation and I won't have to change the whole layout of the electrical enclosure. With everything in place I've put a drop of Loctite on all the bolts from the back to stop that vibrating loose and now I can put it into the enclosure which is that's also from element 14 it's a uh, quite large size I made sure I got a large one so I definitely had enough room for everything which I am really glad about although it was quite expensive but um, I now have room if I wanted to I could put a small form factor PC in there as well but um, I'm not sure what I'll do about that we'll see and yeah obviously I've still got all the wiring to do there but uh, yeah we're making progress so that's good so yeah if you want to see how I go with the future episodes of the build and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye